What up, y'all, and welcome back to another one. Y'all have been dropping a lot of comments down below saying, Bob, where is the big yo? It's like constant. You've read it a lot, yeah. haven't you, Jake? Yo! That better? Look, Fred was like, what? Uh, so, we're back. Uh, first day back after uh, Christmas break. All of us are back at it. Back in town. Back from Texas. Bert's back from Texas. Jake. Gerald's back in town from, he doesn't live very far away. I was in Kansas City uh, with our, uh, with some family from up north. Took all the kids to the football game and then Great Wolf Lodge had a hoop. But it is time to get back after it. Uh, good time in fact. Um, we got a lot of rain, a ton of moisture over Christmas break. So much in fact we have sheet water everywhere. Everywhere, everywhere. So seems like the farther east you go, the more sheet water we got. A lot of it's frozen right now. Um, it'll start thawing because it's only, you know, so deep, but there's a lot of it. It'll all start thawing after tomorrow. So hopefully we're going to be getting some uh, sheet water, corn, milo, duck hunting in the field. That's what we're looking towards. But right now we have a couple good pieces of water, a couple small ponds that are absolutely jacked with look at all the birds coming from town. Uh, absolutely jacked with geese, snows, lessers, specks, everywhere. Seems like they all came right to us during this cold. So, lots of new birds in, definitely a lot of new ducks in. We're trying to find the ducks. We know where our geese are. We're trying to find the ducks today. See them birds? Huh? Yeah. It's a lot of birds, Frederick. Well, 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 it is 5.09 in the evening. Sun is almost down. We got a big one. Um, scored a legitimate, massive snow goose. Uh, there's snow geese, lessers, uh, specks. Haven't seen a duck. Not much luck on the ducks uh, this evening. Gerald, y'all know who he is, my right hand partner, right hand man. Uh, he uh, he went and just got lost basically trying to find ducks and no bueno so far. I know we have ducks with this cold and ice and snow that's came in. We have all this sheet water in the fields, but where are they? I don't know. They have to be out in BFE somewhere. Um, so we're gonna hunt some of the you know close to town goose feeds first on this group coming in um, and then we're gonna still continue to try to find them ducks out in BFE so goose hunts on the first day for both groups and uh, hopefully find some ducks for day two or three for them looking a little flat or something or lower probably just a cold look how low that one looks Ooh. the ones on the ducks trailer look pretty low too better see if the old girl start has been out here in the cold heck yeah we're good to go let that bad boy run away You guys get breakfast? You get breakfast? 
Just like that. You don't have to go to China. Nice and straight. Butt that way. And we'll be good to go. Uh, I'm going to make an outline. Just spread out for now. And start putting them down. Shoot them. And you're bam. And then it's back down. After the shot with me and Fred, I'll say guns up. Just gun up. Go ahead and reload your gun. When I get sat back down, place it down. If it's already down like this and I'm out there, just don't touch it. Safest thing to do. For all of us. Uh, but after the shot, I'll be like, guns up. So guns up. Um, if I say left side shoot, lat, lat, that's because they're hanging on that edge. We still want to try to kill them. If the right side goes too, you're going to be blowing ears out. So this is your shooting lane, everybody. The guys on the end, obviously you have a lot more freedom. But left side shoot, right side. If I say shoot them, everybody go. Don't wait to get up and go. Get up and get on them. Because we all want to shoot together. That first shot that goes off, it's and now we're trying to play catch up. So, if there's a big wad, pick a bird in front of you. Not the closest one that's over here. Pick a bird, kill that bird, then move on. Don't get, don't, it's easy to get kind of off in space, like, oh, and then you just dump your gun and don't kill anything. Kill that first bird that's in front of you, and then move forward. Other than that, just be safe. Man your gun, that's your only job today, boys. Let's have fun. Well, we are done ski. It is shooting light. Beautiful sunrise coming up. We might have just a little peak of sunlight and then probably gonna remain cloudy the rest of the day, but we have a bunch of decoys out, I would guess. Uh, somewhere around 100 dozen, 120. Uh, mostly white socks. Um, I don't think we really filmed this feed yesterday, did we? No. Pretty normal, lots of snow geese. Lots of dark geese. Good flight from town. So we're, we have two flights coming. Uh, there's a pond about a mile away that's coming here. And then from town, it's about four and a half miles, five, depending on where they're coming from, from town. So we got different directions of birds, which is good. A short flight and the longer one. I think the longer one's gonna do better. It seems like it always does. The longer the flight, the better. They're more worn out when they get here and a little more desperate to eat. So uh, we're in a cut cornfield chopped cut really messy uh fred's gonna have his plate full today retrieving and i got his vest on him to protect him from these tall stalks stabbing him in the chest so we're gonna hide we're gonna cross our fingers and hope for the best
Let's go! Big old guy. Go! Fetch him up! Come on! Good boy! Hold! Drop back! Go better. Take that one. there would have been more ducks today. Seems like you put out a big white spread with a couple spinners on the ducks and they eat it up no matter where you're at. Good uh, good weather though, sun. We had a buddy of mine hunting north of us. We thought that we would be able to bounce the birds back and forth, but I think we are we were just a little too close. And us being a hair bit downwind, kind of messed us up on a few goes, but it wasn't too bad. Just over here doing my job, boys and girls. in here that I shredded and then I uh, made like a sauce here with some garlic and onions and some dried chilies <laughs> blended it all up and then tossed the pheasant back in for a second just to kind of get that sauce all over it and then uh, I'm gonna dip my tortillas in this sauce throw them on the blackstone get a little pheasant on them some cheese be good to go Grab one, Jake. Get you the POV. Go ahead, give her a dabble. Oh, yeah. Good. Got a little after kick to it, too, later on. Oh, yeah. That's good, Burtis. Oh, 
Well, dude, they're going, they're going in the tacos. They gotta have a little kick to them. What do we got planned for tomorrow? We are splitting up so two spreads again, two groups. We're running two groups right now. All of them are in the lodge and in the duck shack, which we have some January and February dates and some snow goose conservation dates here in Kansas. So, and then Gerald is running Missouri. Are we running Iowa? Uh, Aaron is in Iowa. Iowa. Yeah, Aaron is. So Gerald's running Missouri and South Dakota. Snow goose conservation hunts, and they're very affordable. And then Aaron's running Iowa. Uh, get a hold of them right here on all Instagram. Tell them I sent you. Uh, but tomorrow we're splitting up on water. And on a scale of one to 10, out of all the hunts this season, if I was to say I was excited about a hunt, and I'm not gonna tell the clients that this tonight, because I really don't want to jinx it, which I don't believe it can be jinxed. You just don't want to pump them up like this, and then it not provide so but for me and them I can tell them <laughs> I would say on a scale of one to ten definitely a ten like the it's an exciting hunt tomorrow shit's gonna go down and we're gonna watch and that just pumps it up the next video All right, guys, you guys hungry?